This is the GT40 that I was gonna put on the car. I'm going to uh, take off the valve cover to see what kind of heads I got, because honestly, I'm not really sure. How do you know it's 75? I thought what I had would bolt right up to the GT40. I'm just a little frustrated. Gearhead 704. I'm Matt and I'm doing today probably what you should never do making a YouTube video and that is I really don't know exactly what's going to happen on this vlog. Um, I can tell you that I'm headed to Fox Mustang Restoration again uh, and I am going to talk to Matt about some of the intake manifold possibilities we have. If you saw one of the previous uploads I was in the process of removing an intake manifold and putting a GT40 on and uh, I had some problems with that, let's just put it that way. Uh, definitely check that out if you hadn't seen it. I'll throw one of those uh, card things, like right there. And uh, yeah, but that's where I'm headed right now. I really don't know what's gonna end up with the vlog. You guys know more than I do now because I've already titled this thing and I've put a thumbnail. So you know what this video is about, but I have no idea. Well, I can tell you one thing. As you see, I'm riding in the beater and uh, on the one of the previous uploads, I think the one right before this, I, sh I told you how the Jetta's battery died. We figured that out. And uh, yeah, I did replace the battery, but you know what? Batteries are expensive now. I had no idea. This was like $170 battery for this uh, this car. And honestly, it was kind of a pain to uh, change it out. Um, it was not easy to get to. I almost had to take off the entire uh, air intake to get to the battery clamp that holds it down, the hold down. But uh, anyway, I got through it. So. The beater is doing its job letting me beat on it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I know you guys aren't here for Jetta content. I do promise Fox Body content. So let's go ahead and get to Fox Mustang Restoration, see what's going on there. Okay, guys, I did arrive here at Fox Mustang Restoration. And um, let me go ahead and show you guys the main reason I came over here. This today. is the GT40 that I was going to put on the car. And I realized that the throttle body opening on these is uh, 70 millimeter. Whereas uh, my Elderbrock Victor Junior Victor EFI, I think, yeah, that's what it's called. Um, it, it has a 75 millimeter throttle body opening. So I'm pretty sure that my throttle body is 75 millimeters. Um, so yeah, that doesn't match up, right? The airflow doesn't match up there. So I'm gonna have to figure out something else on this intake. Either get a different intake, or maybe possibly go ahead and get this one bored out to 75. So that's what we're trying to figure out today. All right, guys, I'm gonna work on my car a little more here. I'm going to uh, take off the valve cover to see what kind of heads I got, because honestly, I'm not really sure. There could be Elderbrock Performer or Performer RPM. So there's a number underneath the uh, valve cover. You can see it right on the head. So I'm gonna take that off real quick and see if we can find out what kind of heads we, we've got because we've got to match that to the intake really so I kind of uh, went down a rabbit hole here and not having the right stuff ahead of time so anyway we're gonna get it figured out today thanks to uh, Matt's help here uh, just in the back it's a little tight I don't know if I should just pull harder or you get that last bolt out oh there's one back there okay uh -huh. okay I was looking too I was like is there another bolt I, I couldn't see it where? I don't even see it. Oh, okay, okay. All right. You know, I'm always forgetting bolts. I did the same <laughs> thing on the intake manifold over there. I know, that's what, <laughs> that's what I thought too. <laughs> oh, man, okay. I'm not going to ask you again. Yeah, but... <laughs> no worries, man. No, I, I did I learn this trick. Breaking it. I learned this trick. Yeah, I started the angle. I'm like, I'm not sure I need to force it. Yeah, that's a good trick you, pit you kept. It's a lot faster, right? Yeah. There you go. Better. You got generic rotor arms on there too. Oh really? Yeah, and usually anything that's in, like anything that a big company makes, they're gonna logo it. Okay. You know what I mean? You were more like this. Yeah. Get more like that. Oh okay. Now you still gotta hold this. You gotta counter. You gotta counter your push because yeah. you're twisting. If okay. you don't counter it, you're going to spin it off and strip the head of the bolt out. Oh, perfect. I didn't punch you, did I? No. <laughs> I know the watch out. <laughs> yeah, it actually went a little easier. See? All about technique, too. Mm -hmm. 
I didn't realize that technique was a part of wrenching, but it is. Everything has a technique. Yeah. It comes up a lot easier when all the bolts are out. Yeah, you're going to have to rotate that one around that hose. You can see why I had to do the other one. Yeah. Yeah, that's easy. Looks like a 6025 or maybe a 3025. Probably, it should be 6025. I saw that one on the forums. Okay. 6025. Okay, so we figured out we have Eldebrock uh, 6025 heads. So, gonna see what we can match up with that. Okay, y'all, I'm leaving Fox Mustang Restoration and we figured out a few things. Uh, the big thing that we figured out, so let me tell you guys my heads and intake combination that I had on there. I had Elderbrock Performer, not Performer RPM, but Elderbrock, Edelbrock, not Elderbrock. I gotta work on that. Edelbrock Performer heads, okay? And uh, that's like their lowest tier head. It, uh, and the intake manifold I had with it is their Victor EFI. And I had a 75 millimeter throttle body. So I'm pretty sure that what I'm doing is I'm flowing too much uh, air and that the heads can even take advantage of. So what I think is going on is that the heads cannot take advantage of the 75 millimeter throttle body or the intake anyway. You know, let's say I go with a Trick Flow R or a Holly System Max 2, which matches up. I can match those up to my 75 millimeter throttle body. I don't think it's going to do me any good with those heads. Um, you know, and so what I'm really thinking about doing right now is just going ahead, downgrading to the GT40, which, which looks fantastic and uh, using a 70 millimeter throttle body and just going that route because I really need to change the heads and intake anyway. And um, you know what I could always do is I could use the GT40 on the, um, on the SSP later on. It's kind of what I'm thinking, use that GT40. So that's kind of what I'm leaning towards now just to get the car running. I also have to get to Mustang week and I definitely want the car to be at Mustang week. It's kind of like my signature car, the convertible. So it's gonna be kind of a disappointment if I don't have the car there. I need to do something quickly. Later on, I definitely do want to do better performing heads and a better performing uh, intake that will work with the 331. See, the problem is I got the 331 bottom end, which is great. I got a really good comp cam in it. I forget the exact uh, cam number, but I'm gonna put it up on the screen here. I'm gonna find it, put it up on the screen. For my cylinder heads, it doesn't really matter if I get more airflow in, like I go with a Holly System Max 2 intake or a Trick Flow R intake, it's not really going to help me all that much uh, because of my heads. I've got regular Elderbrock Performer heads, you know, not Performer RPM, not Elderbrock Victor Jr., just regular heads. So the heads are kind of a choke point, is what I'm thinking. And I need the car at Mustang Week. So if I tear down the heads now and replace the heads and then go with the right heads and the right intake, the car's just going to be down longer. I also really want to get going on the SSP. Um, so the main problem I need to fix right now is I just need to fix the burning oil issue. And uh, I've got the GT40 intake for that. Um, so we can go that route. I do need to clean that intake up. Uh, and the lower, the, I don't have the lower back yet. I was getting the lower intake manifold fixed. Um, and the work is done, but I haven't picked it up yet. So I got to go do that. And tomorrow's Saturday. They're closed on Saturday. So I can't pick up the lower intake tomorrow anyway. For now, the 331 is not going to have its full power. It's just not. It really needs new heads to go along with the uh, comp cam I have. I'm just going to have to go with a 70 millimeter throttle body right now because that's what the GT40 is. Uh, it can take. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I have the wrong size throttle body for the intake I need, uh, for the intake I have rather. So I'm going to have to get a different throttle body either way. I have to buy a 70 millimeter but I don't want to buy the intake manifold that is not going to work with the heads right now. I suppose I could buy it and then wait and get the heads later. It wouldn't run terrible, but I don't know, man. I, I'm talking about spending all kinds of money here. Basically, I don't have a good combination. The original shop I went to that's out of business, they did not set me up correctly. You know, it wasn't a good, uh, it wasn't a good combination to begin with. I mean, you've got an Elderbrock Victor Jr. or Victor EFI intake manifold with their lowest set of heads. You know, a huge 75 millimeter throttle body because that's what fit the intake. And you got all this air and you just can't get it through the engine. So I'm probably uh, saying a couple terms wrong here, but you guys get the gist of what I'm saying. I'm just a little frustrated. You know, uh, 
I need to get the car going. I need it at Mustang week. I think the GT40 is a great intake. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, we found out what this video is about. Anyway, that's the update on Tar Heel Fox. Stuff for the SSP coming soon. As soon as I can get Tar Heel Fox out of the way and running again, I can get uh, going on the SSP stuff as well. So if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Gearhead 704.